Well, we know Nashville is a city that prides itself on unique cuisine. We're the home of hot chicken. Uh, some people joke that we'd even fry iced tea if we could. But I have noticed some really nice changes in town, particularly these fresh produce trucks that are going to some of the areas that are underserved by grocery stores, the so-called food deserts. I saw one lined up the other day uh, on a Saturday, and people down the block waiting for beautiful tomatoes and nice leafy greens and I think it's wonderful that we're getting the products from the farm out to the communities where people are really wanting a fresh alternative. That's one good thing that's happening in Nashville. We at the Partnership for a Healthier America are traveling around the country looking at what communities can do to step up and fight this uh, terrible epidemic of obesity. An epidemic that's about 30 years old and one that can be reversed. I, as I look at our community here in Nashville, see great progress being made, but we've got a long way to go. What we need to continue to do is marry our great health services industry here, which leads our economy in middle, many ways, with those behavior changing techniques and programs and alignments of incentives that we know ultimately can influence and cause a decrease in obesity in this community. It's that integration of those social determinants of health care, those social determinants of obesity, that through an integration with our health services community need to be emphasized over the next several years. I think the most important thing uh, for our community to do, whether it be our citizens or businesses or health care providers, is to make a very concerted shift from focusing on the treatment of obesity to better understanding the causes that drive obesity and to expand the search and the understanding of those causes beyond just what we see physically. So we know broadening out the definition of health to be uh, formed as well-being, including not just physical health, but emotional health and social health will provide both data, science, information that can yield the type of innovation that's going to be required to solve this big problem. Two of the most powerful things that the healthcare community here in Nashville can do in terms of combating the obesity epidemic in the next five to ten years have to be one, educating parents, educating consumers, and two, trying to find some ways to incentivize those individuals as well. And when I talk about education, I'm talking about something that we are so passionate and dedicated to doing at Family Circle, giving readers, giving parents the tools that they need in order to give healthy meals to their families, in order to get their families moving. Parents know that there's an obesity epidemic and they want to do something about it. They want to have healthy kids and we want to help them do that. We want to give them the tools because that is the number one thing that they're missing. And two, incentivizing. Um, car insurance companies offer you incentives for not having accidents and they'll lower your rates. If there's anything that health insurance companies can do to do the same, I think that that would have a dramatic impact. I guess the first thing is to take this as a, as a serious issue and one that really requires urgent action and urgent change. Um, obviously, healthcare uh, organizations have a huge role to play. One thing that healthcare organizations can, can do is really be part of leadership on a community-wide basis. And we've seen this as, uh, as several organizations step forward for the Mayor's Walks, the Mayor's 5K, and the Mayor's Field Day. Um, that kind of partnership is really important. Second, uh, your own facilities and your own organizations should be leaders for health, uh, healthy workplaces. You can go to nashvitality.org and get toolkits on how to, how to have a uh, healthy workplace and then participate in the Mayor's Workplace Challenge. Finally, what healthcare does well, they should do systematically to combat this issue. Uh, doctors should prescribe, whether it's a, a family doctor or a health system, uh, and prescribe changes in diet and physical activity. So that, uh, so that everyone who's served by the healthcare system uh, has tools and is equipped to, uh, to maintain a healthy weight, eat healthy, and be physically active. The most important thing we need to do is break the cycle. That's only going to happen if we focus strongly on prevention. And what does that look like? What does the Nashville health community need to do to do that? That means we need to take what we know, we know an awful lot about this, and apply it during pregnancy, early childhood, and childhood to its full effect so that we can truly lead to prevention of obesity. None of us will be able to do it by ourselves. We can't do it one at a time. We have to do it all together.